Hey third graders, we are going to de design our clay tiles. To do that, you're going to open up your sketchbook, and your sketchbooks are long and tall. You can fit two designs on one page, and I want you to make four designs. What you're going to do is you're going to draw a rectangle that fits almost as big as your paper. See how my line is really close to the top and really close to the edges? And I'm going to do another rectangle right underneath it. They don't touch, but they're really close. All right. Then, when you're designing your clay tile, it can be anything. It doesn't have to look like a thing. It can just be a design, like shapes and lines and textures. If you want it to look like something, that's okay but you need to make it be more shapes and lines. For example, if you wanted to do, let's say, a flower, well, you need to break the flower down into different shapes that you know, like circles and triangles and squares and rectangles, okay? Um, so here are some examples that other people have made. Use these as inspiration for yours. Remember, you cannot copy it, but you can be inspired by it and use pieces or use the idea to make your idea as well. So you want to think about where does your flower go on your paper, on the tile? Will it be in the middle? Will it be on the edge? Where will it be on your tile? Our tiles are going to be semi-rectangulars. Um, they won't be so much square, but they'll be longer in more of a rectangle shape, and they're going to be about this size. Okay, so just with your pencil, make up a few designs. My first one, I'm going to do a flower. The second one, I'm going to do a just a shape design to give you a few ideas. Your job is to make four different ideas. You want to think about positive and negative spaces. Positive space is the things that are sticking out, that the most important things. This petal, the petals are all positive spaces, which we can show with a plus sign. As well as this middle spiral part is my positive space. Everything behind it is a negative space. We can show that with a minus. It's important to think about these. You don't have to put down plus signs and subtracting signs, um, but it's important to think about because when we make our tiles, you're going to have a flat piece of clay, and some of the clay is going to be on top of the flat piece of clay making your design. The tile is going to be the negative space because it will be below, and the positive space, my petals, will be the above they'll be the thing that I see okay so you want to think about those things the way that we're going to do this is you're going to get a piece of clay you're going to it will be a flat tile a flat piece of clay then you're going to get a, a lump of clay and you're going to cut out these designs score and slip them and stick them on and they're going to stick up you can also use tools to cut away textures so maybe I want some straight line textures 
around it and these will be dug into the clay. Anything that you want to be positive space, I want you to make it a shape by not just drawing a line, but next to the line drawing a shape and filling it in. And then I want you to fill in the shapes with your pencil to show that this part is going to be raised up off of the surface. After you've drawn your designs, choose your favorite, which might be the most exciting to look at. Here is a quick overview of the process of making a tile. We'll go through it in more detail, but it might help you make your design and choose your design more wisely. To make your tile, you are first going to be given a piece of clay that's in the shape of a pancake in a rectangular shape, just the shape that you want it. You can take a moment to kind of smooth out some edges if you want to. Anything that looks rough and has bumpies, you can just take your finger and smooth that out. You don't want to do too much because you don't want the tile to get too small it needs to be about as big as that shape, rectangle shape you drew in your sketchbook. Once you have your tile into the rectangle shape that you're happy with, at least as big as your hand and hopefully about the same size that I gave you to begin with, it's time to start doing your design. So you'll need your sketchbook out sitting next to you. You're going to need some tools. You can take one at a time. Since I'm demoing this in the classroom, I have them all so I don't have to walk back and forth. You're going to need a cup of water, but you only need one cup of water at your table. And this is like the glue for the clay. And you're probably going to need some clay to put on top of the tile. Remember the tile is like the negative space, the subtractive space. And the ball of clay is going to be like your positive space. It's going to be the plus stuff that we add to it, and it will be the thing that is part of your image. You don't have to use all of this clay, so only take a little bit at a time. All right. On your tile, decide which is the top and which is the bottom. I'm deciding that this is the top and that this side is going to be the back, so I'm making this side be up toward me. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a small tool, one of these that perhaps looks like a pencil, so that I can sketch my design into my tile. The design I chose is my shape design. So if I look at my shape design, I want to just draw this simply into the tile first. When I'm drawing, I am not pressing very hard with this tool. I'm just kind of gently carving into the clay. If you mess up, you can just erase it by rubbing back over it. All right, I'm finding out I have to adjust my drawing a little bit. I had four dots, but with the clay, there's not enough space, so I need to do three.
Now that I've got my design drawn onto my tile, I'm ready to do to add in the stuff that's above and to cut away the stuff that's below. The, the word that it's called when you add stuff on is additive. Pretty easy. There, the other way is called subtractive. Notice the positive and negative space. You add it to the top when it's the positive space. You subtract it away when it's the negative space by cutting into the clay. So what you need, I'm going to start with adding on my triangle shapes. I'm going to take a small bowl of clay and I want to flatten it into some sort of pancake, another slab type thing. Now I'm not worrying about making it into a triangle space yet, but I'm just flattening it. I need it to not be thinner than a pencil. You know, your pencils are about this thick and I need it to not be thinner than that when I'm flattening it out. You can just flatten it in between your hand gently, giving it gentle pushes as you rotate it around your hand. It needs to be about the size of the shape I need. It also shouldn't be any thicker than a marker. Okay, now that I have a small pancake, I'm going to look at the shape I want and eyeball how big that is on here. I'm going to draw that shape again on here and check them. Does that look right? Hmm. I feel like this line's a little messed up, so I'm going to draw it again and decide. Is that right? Okay, pretty good. Now that I have that shape the way I want it, I can take a tool, any tool I want, any tool that you think will work well, to cut out that shape that you had. Any extra clay you can put back in your ball and save for later. Now, now I've got a triangle shape. I can set it on top of my design. Does that look right? Yeah, it does look right. But check it out. This shape that I cut out is all bumpy and, and icky, and I don't want that. I want it to be smooth. So I'm going to take my finger and just gently kind of touch it to get all of the roughness away from it. Smooth the edges. Doesn't have to be perfect, but a good start is a good idea. Now. I can't just push it on here and hope it stays because it will fall off if I pick it up and it falls off later, especially once the clay dries. I have to do what's called scoring and slipping. Say it, score and slip. Scoring means to make marks into it. It's it's like, um, like Velcro. I have to score into the clay on both sides and then when it goes together, it's like Velcro, they together. Score is the first step, and then slipping is this water. It's like glue. So on top of the Velcro, I need to put a little bit of glue, just a little bit of water. Score first, scratch into it, slip it with water, and then stick it. It's also a good idea to take some sort of tool and smooth them together. So it's score, slip, stick, smooth. Say it with me. Score, slip, stick, and smooth. I like to use this popsicle tool to smooth these edges together because it pushes and I can just kind of push down on this triangle and push it into the clay so it's nice and smooth the shape that I want. And you're going to do this same thing for all the other shapes that you need. decided that this wavy line, I don't want it to be negative space. I want to roll out a coil and put it on there. A coil is a worm of clay. 
it's just a long rolled out piece. I'm going to move this tile out of my way. I'm going to take a piece of clay, start rolling it like a worm, and then to make it roll out nice and long, I put my fingers together and I roll back and forth tiny littles, not all the way, just tiny little with my finger, and I gently spread my hands apart. That helps to pull the clay. Tiny little back and forths and see, it's gently getting longer. If you have any areas that seem to be smaller, you can go back and kind of push in that one area that's thicker. If it gets too thin, you can just overlap it on top of itself and roll on that area. Thank you.